Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I am going to take you through Azure App Service configuration. Predominantly in this lecture, I am going to cover application settings. Rest of the settings I am going to cover in the relevant sections of the course. So for example, diagnostic settings I am going to cover in the monitoring section of the course. SSL settings I am going to cover in security section of the course. Okay, so let's start going through application settings. In terms of application settings, they can be broadly divided into four areas. First one is general settings. Under general settings, you can select different framework versions. Azure App Service supports .NET Framework, Java, Python and PHP. And in this framework section, you can able to specify the version of the .NET Framework, specify the version of PHP, Python and Java, etc. And the second one is platform. Here you will be able to select whether it is 32 bit environment or 64 bit environment. And the third one is web sockets. In case if you are using socket.io in your ASP.NET application, then you need to switch on this web sockets. And the fourth one is always on. If you are using basic or standard tires, then generally if the request to your app service is not coming for a period of time, then the compute resources will be offloaded. So if you want to make sure it is not offloaded and it is always on, then you need to switch on always on. Okay. And the next one is auto swap. I'm going to explain about auto swap in detail in the next section of the course where we are going to talk about deployment slots. It's basically a mechanism using which you can able to swap a slot with your production slot. Okay. Anyway, don't worry about it. At the moment, I'm going to explain in detail in the deployment section of the course. And the next thing is debugging. You will be able to remotely debug your web application within Azure App Service. So basically you can remote debug from Visual Studio and able to investigate the issue. Again, this debugging, I'm going to show you practically how you can enable it in the monitoring section of this course. And the next important settings are app settings. App settings are basically key value pairs. And generally in a traditional .NET web application, you're going to specify these app settings in web.config file. Instead of providing there, you can able to provide within the Azure portal itself against that particular app. And during the runtime, just like the way you will access app settings from your web.config file, you can able to access app setting values from your application. In case if your web.config file contains the same key value pair, as you mentioned in the app setting configuration within the Azure portal, then what you mentioned within the Azure portal will be taken as a priority. So for example, in your web.config file, you specified keys, test and value is ABC123. But in the app settings within Azure portal for the same test key, you specified the value as XYZ123, then the XYZ123 will be taken as a priority. So it will override whatever the settings you have in web.config file. Okay, bear that in mind. And in terms of PHP, Python and Java applications, they can access these settings as environment variables at runtime. So for example, if your key is test key, then you need to access the variable using app settings underscore test key. Okay. Similar principle goes to connection strings also, just like the way you're going to mention connection strings in web.config file, you will be able to do the same in Azure portal in the connection strings configuration area. And also in terms of connection string for PHP, Python and Java applications, these settings will be available as environment variables at runtime prefixed with connection type. So for example, for SQL, it will start with SQL CONN STR underscore and whatever the string you specify. Okay. These are all the application settings that are associated with Azure App Service. However, there are other important settings. Let me take you through one by one. First one is enabling diagnostic logs. You can able to enable diagnostic logs at a different levels at different places also. So for example, web server level, application level. Again, I'm going to discuss about these diagnostic logs in full detail in the monitoring section of the course. And the second one is SSL. You can enable HTTPS for your web app. How to enable it, what to configure, I'm going to show you in the security section of this course. And the next thing is custom domain. You can have your own custom domain for your web app. I'm going to show you in this section of the course in the subsequent labs, how to map custom domain to your web app service. 
and the fourth one is deployment slots there are number of ways you can deploy web applications or ap apps or mobile backend services into azure i am going to take you through one by one in the next section of the course which is deployments and also there is something called deployment slots which i am going to touch upon in very detail in the next section and the fifth one is monitoring again there are some basic monitoring that you can do and there are different types of metrics that are provided by azure at different levels again in the monitoring section of the course i'm going to take you through this in detail and finally network connectivity in order to make sure your app hosted in your app service able to communicate with the apps that are hosted in azure virtual machines or on premises data centers you can able to configure certain connections so there are different ways you can establish those connections one is virtual network connectivity and the second one is hybrid connections all these things i'm going to take you through in the network section of the course so these are all the key configuration settings that are associated with app service so that's it for this lecture in this lecture i have taken you through key application settings and also other key settings associated with your app service in order to monitor secure deploy and establish network connectivity also okay in the next lab i'm going to show you where to configure all these application settings using azure portal and also we are going to test app settings basically i'm going to input a key value pair within azure portal and see from the app you will be able to access the key value okay so if you have some time join me in the next lab